Elliott Investment Management is not your average investment firm. They are known for their aggressive tactics, especially when it comes to shareholder activism. Founded by Paul Singer, Elliott manages billions of dollars. They invest in various sectors, from technology to energy. But what sets Elliott apart is its willingness to challenge the status quo. They are not afraid to shake things up in the companies they invest in. Elliott's activism often involves pushing for changes in a company's strategy, management or financial structure. We leverage our significant shareholder voting rights to influence decisions. This can involve demanding board seats, pushing for mergers or acquisitions or even forcing companies to break up. While some criticise their methods as ruthless, Elliott argues they are simply holding companies accountable. They believe their actions ultimately benefit all shareholders by unlocking value and improving performance. But what happens when a company resists Elliott's advances? The recent encounter with Southwest Airlines provides a compelling case study. In 2023, Elliott Investment Management set its sights on Southwest Airlines. The hedge fund, known for its aggressive activist investing style, had been steadily increasing its stake in the airline. I led the charge. I have a reputation for being a tough negotiator, unafraid to play hardball to get what we want. Southwest, grappling with the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic, was in a vulnerable position. Elliot saw an opportunity to leverage this vulnerability and push for changes. The hedge fund believed Southwest's management was not doing enough to maximize shareholder value. What followed was a tense standoff. Elliot demanded several changes, including board seats and a strategic overhaul. They argued that Southwest needed to modernize its operations and improve its customer service to stay competitive. We initially resisted Elliott's demands. We argued that we had a solid plan for recovery and that Elliott's interference was unwarranted. The situation escalated, with both sides engaging in public relations battles and legal maneuvering. This high-stakes game of corporate chess had everyone in the industry watching closely. What are the implications of such negotiations for other companies? In a surprising turn of events, Southwest Airlines eventually conceded to Elliott's demands. The airline agreed to appoint three new directors to its board, all nominated by Elliott. They also announced plans to review their operations and explore strategic alternatives. This concession was a significant victory for Elliott. It solidified their reputation as a force to be reckoned with in the world of activist investing. The outcome of the Southwest Airlines case sends a clear message to other companies. Elliott means business. When they set their sights on a target, they are willing to go to great lengths to achieve their goals. This victory further bolsters Elliott's credibility Companies now know that resistance might be futile and could lead to a protracted and costly battle. The Southwest case also highlights Elliott's operational strategy. They are not simply financial engineers looking for a quick profit. They are willing to engage deeply with the companies they invest in, pushing for long-term changes that they believe will benefit all stakeholders. Elliott's activism extends far beyond individual companies like Southwest Airlines. Their actions send ripples throughout the market, influencing corporate governance practices and investor behavior on a broader scale. The mere presence of Elliott on a company's shareholder register can be enough to trigger changes. Companies, aware of Elliott's reputation, may preemptively adopt more shareholder-friendly policies they might increase dividends, buy back shares, or streamline operations to avoid becoming a target. This Elliott effect can be seen as a form of market discipline, pushing companies to be more responsive to their shareholders. However, this influence is not without its critics. Some argue that Elliott's focus on short-term gains can come at the expense of long-term value creation. 
Others worry that the fear of activist investors may make companies risk-averse, stifling innovation and growth. How do these actions shape corporate governance? Elliott's actions, while sometimes controversial, highlight the power of shareholder activism. In an ideal world, companies would always act in the best interests of their shareholders. However, in reality, misaligned incentives and entrenched management can lead to decisions that do not benefit all stakeholders. Shareholder activism, when done right, can act as a corrective force. It can hold companies accountable for their actions, pushing them to adopt more responsible and sustainable business practices. This can include improving corporate governance, enhancing transparency, and prioritizing long-term value creation over short-term profits. Elliott's tactics, while often aggressive, demonstrate that shareholders have a voice and can use it to influence corporate behavior. This is particularly important in today's complex business environment, where companies face increasing pressure to address issues such as climate change, social inequality, and technological disruption. The Double-Edged Sword Examining the Impact of Activist Investors Elliott's impact on the financial sector is undeniable. They have become one of the most influential activist investors globally, with a track record of shaking up boardrooms and driving corporate change. However, their legacy is not without controversy. Critics argue that Elliott's focus on quick profits can come at the expense of long-term value creation. They point to cases where Elliott's involvement has led to job losses, asset stripping, and a decline in innovation. Others worry that the fear of activist investors like Elliott can make companies risk averse, hindering their ability to innovate and adapt to changing market conditions. The debate surrounding Elliott's methods reflects a broader discussion about the role of activist investors in the market. While their involvement can bring about positive changes, it is crucial to consider the potential downsides and strive for a balanced approach that benefits all stakeholders. Beyond Southwest, a legacy of high-stakes corporate battles. Elliott's encounter with Southwest Airlines is just one example of their many high-stakes corporate battles. Over the years, the hedge fund has taken on some of the world's largest companies, including Samsung, Hyundai, and AT&T. Their tactics have evolved, but their core philosophy remains the same, to unlock shareholder value, even if it means ruffling feathers. Elliott's willingness to engage in public campaigns, legal battles, and proxy fights has made them both feared and respected in the corporate world. While their methods may be controversial, there's no denying that Elliott has had a significant impact on corporate governance and investor activism. Their actions have forced companies to be more transparent, accountable, and responsive to their shareholders. The future of activism. Will Elliott's influence continue to grow? As we look to the future, it's clear that activist investors like Elliott will continue to play a significant role in shaping the corporate landscape. With trillions of dollars under management, activist funds have the financial firepower to influence even the largest companies. The rise of ESG investing is likely to further empower activist investors. As investors become more focused on sustainability and social responsibility, they will demand that companies align their practices with these values. Elliott, with its track record of driving corporate change, is well positioned to capitalize on this trend. Whether they can maintain their position as a leading activist investor while adapting to the evolving expectations of shareholders and society remains to be seen. Join the conversation. Share your thoughts on shareholder activism. Elliot's story raises important questions about the role of shareholder activism in the modern economy. Is it a necessary force for good, holding companies accountable and driving positive change? Or is it a disruptive influence focused on short-term profits 
at the expense of long-term value creation. We want to hear from you. Share your thoughts on shareholder activism in the comments below. Let's discuss the benefits, drawbacks and the future of this powerful force in the business world.